Hello again. Welcome to our video solution to problem three from quiz five. And here we're now given a graph from which we want to obtain unit step function or some combination of unit step functions, as well as an expression for this function as a piecewise defined function. So let's start with the unit step function. So for the unit step function, we're going to start on the left hand side and notice that this thing is constantly at the value 2. So h of t is going to start just at 2. And it's going to stay there until it looks like at negative 2 something happens. It's going to go down, so we have minus, and we're going to put in a u negative 2. Let's make that a little clearer, u negative 2 of t. How much did it go down? Well, it went from 2 down to 1, so it's a drop, or to negative 1 rather. So that's a drop of 3. All right, let's see. So it's going to stay there until we get to 1, at which point it's going to jump up. All right, so plus, so at 1, it jumps up, and it looks like it goes from 1 to 4, so that's an, a jump of 5. All right, we travel over to, okay, when t equals 3, it's going to go down. So we're going to do a minus, and we'll do a u3 of t, and it goes from 4, well, down to 0. So we went down by 4. All right, there we go. We've got a unit step function for this. All right, now how about as a piecewise defined function? All right, so here we're going to have a whole bunch of, of domain pieces, right? So we go first from negative infinity to negative 2. So negative infinity to negative 2. And, and of course, one could just write t less than negative 2. Putting here the greater than negative infinity isn't actually adding more information. I'm just making this a little more consistent uh, in terms of the notation. Then it's going to go from negative 2 to 1. And note here, right, because we have the black dot, that means we include the negative 2 in this piece. Uh, the white dot here tells you, okay, we're not going to include on the right end. Uh, then we go from 1 to 3. So again, we include this left endpoint and not the right endpoint. And then finally, we're going from 3 to infinity, including the 3 on the left. Okay, and so now it's just a matter of, of asking what are the values on these specific domains. So from negative infinity to negative 2, the output is 2. From negative 2 to 1, the output is negative 1. From 1 to 3, the output is 4. And finally, from 3 to infinity, the output is 0. And there we go. That's it. <laughs> it's not that tough, right? Just a little bit of practice, and you'll be you'll be kicking butt with this stuff. Now, uh, the next time we see this stuff, we're going to be using more complicated functions, right? So far, we're we're just using constant functions everywhere, right? Where this gets more interesting and even more valuable is when we allow ourselves to, for example, have something coming along the axis, and then it maybe it turns on, right? Something uh, maybe it's a relu function, okay? If you don't know what that is, right? You got to look that up. All right. So in any case, I hope this is uh, helpful and uh, we'll see you next time.